As I travel through the country doing shooting and basketball skill clinics with a tossback, sponsored by Pro Kids, I'm constantly asked by players, what does it take to become a good player, and how can I improve my shooting? To be a good player, one has to start with attitude. Now I'm talking about attitude towards basketball. Your attitude towards practice and whether you are mentally ready to practice each day will determine how fast you improve and how good a player you'll be in games. The game today demands year-round attention. You can talk or think about basketball all you want and they'll be of no benefit unless you drill repeatedly on the basic drills needed to improve your hands, shooting, foot quickness, agility, reaction to the ball, rebounding, dribbling, and the ability to stay low in a defensive stance. As you continually work each day on these skills, you will add another important factor to your game, confidence. From the professional level of grade school, basketball fundamentals are the same. Basketball confidence in one's individual skills is needed by each player in order to contribute to total team play. More and more players are finding out that it's not the amount of time spent practicing, but what is being done during the practice time spent. Through my years as a player, I watched many players go through what they thought was a good practice, but in reality never truly developed their skills because the time spent was never self-organized and directed at the improvement of needed basketball skills and individual weaknesses. Good players spend many hours alone with the basketball to perfect individual skills. If players are not willing to do this, they just won't make it. There's no shortcuts to becoming a good player. It takes work. Shooting is the one skill players practice alone more than any other skill. In teaching players to shoot, I feel it's extremely important to keep it as simple as possible. I want each player to understand the basics of shooting so when a player practices, the player will not only be able to do it, but do it right. With this in mind, the following are four basic steps. Four easy steps that with constant repetition and practice will make you a better shooter. Practice leads to success. Success leads to confidence. Confidence leads to more success and the cycle goes on. Before this cycle starts, a player must know what makes it happen. The first step in shooting is balance. To be an outstanding shooter, the legs must always be on balance. Shooting balance is one foot in front of the other. A basketball player is not on consistent shooting balance when his feet are parallel. A player will set up quicker and will shoot consistently better when one foot is in front of the other. A right-hand shooter will lead with his right foot. A left-hand shooter will lead with his left foot to maintain excellent shooting balance. The feet are not too wide or too close. Proper foot balance gets you ready to shoot. In a game situation, a player receives a pass, fakes, and shoots. Notice my feet are not parallel. The head, as well as the legs, control balance during the shot. Keep your head as still as possible and in the center of the shooting stance at all times. Do not lean too far forward or too far backwards. The shot starts at the floor. The legs, as well as the arms, must be in the shot. I bend my legs for power. I always have a good shooting rhythm because my whole body is on balance controlled by my head and legs. Shooting is a muscle memory reflex. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. The second step in shooting is eyes on the target. Every time I shoot the ball, whether I make it or miss it, my eyes are on the basket. A player can shoot for the front of the rim or the back of the rim but do not follow the ball with your eyes. This is a bad habit. My eyes never follow the ball, so my concentration is at its highest peak at all times, the basket. An excellent ball, hand, and eye concentration drill when working out with another player is to pass and receive, or pass, receive, and shoot, keeping the eyes on the target. Repeating this drill of passes and shots will develop total concentration. Do not let your eyes follow the ball. Every time I shoot the ball, I do the same thing. This will develop muscle memory. I create a good basic fundamental habit through repetition. I'm on balance, and my eyes are on the basket. The third step in shooting is the elbow keeps the basketball straight. 
This is the most important step. The elbow is directly under the ball in line with the basket. Not too close or too far from the body. Proper form with the elbow will keep the basketball straight to the basket. Do not allow your shooting arm to stick out to the side or be on an angle. I use the dart theory to illustrate this. It's elbow, then I release the dart. Elbow, then I release the dart. The elbow keeps the dart straight. The elbow will keep the basketball straight. The elbow must be under the basketball, straight to the basket. Now I'm back to the dart. If I allow my elbow to drift or stick out to the side, it will be difficult to keep the dart straight without overcorrecting with my hand. If I bring the dart back, straighten up my elbow, the dart will go straight towards the target. Now I replace the dart with a basketball, the same thing will happen. A straight elbow is of major importance for a consistent, smooth shot. Bad form with the elbow makes it impossible to consistently shoot with accuracy. When the elbow is straight and under the ball, the ball will rest in one hand easily and can be released straight to the basket. Here's an important tip for excellent form and accuracy. The ball should be held off the right hip in a straight line towards the basket, not in the center of the body. Just the opposite for left-hand players. A good self-check for form is hold the ball directly in front of yourself with the ball in the center of the stance. Note the angle of your arm. Now move the ball so it comes straight off the hip. The elbow will point straight to the basket. If a player is having trouble keeping his elbow straight while shooting, a good drill is to have a player stand close to the basket, resting the ball in one hand while taking shots elbow straight. Player will develop good basic elbow form, concentration, spin and touch. Each player who gives personal attention to this drill each day will receive more than satisfactory results. Every time I shoot the ball, I'm on balance, my eyes are on the target, and without doubt, my elbow keeps the basketball straight. The fourth step in shooting is follow through. Every time I shoot the ball, whether I make the shot or miss it, I follow through. When a player follows through, this is the last positive move made during the shot. I want this follow through to be smooth. Try to stick your shooting hand right in the basket. Do not snap it downward. All my left hand does during the shot is help me hold the ball. During the release, it is still but pointing towards the basket. My left hand is on the side of the ball or it can be slightly underneath, but not directly underneath or in front of the ball. Only my shooting hand follows through towards the basket on every shot. My hands are set the same way every time I receive the ball. Again, muscle memory. The shot starts at the floor, so I bend my legs for power. The more I bend my legs, the easier it is to keep a smooth follow through. These are habits that must be developed through hours of individual practice. I'm always on balance, my eyes are on the target, my elbow is straight, and I follow through. The jump shot is the most important shot in the game today. The basics of the jump shot are the same. Balance, eyes on the target, elbow straight, follow through. A player should get ready to receive the ball and then shoot the ball with the same motion every time. Keep the head still and in the center of the body. Movement of the head causes the most problems in jump shooting. Not controlling your head causes poor balance and destroys good rhythm necessary to shoot well in game traffic. When I land after my jump shot, I'm always on balance and ready to play. Again, I am building a muscle memory reflex. Control of the jump shot begins by getting the feet ready or being prepared to flow into the shot. If the fundamentals of getting the feet ready before the shot is learned and practiced at an early age, it will become an important habit as each player advances into better caliber of basketball. Go get the ball and move the feet to do it. I personally feel that players should only be thinking of one thought while shooting, that is making the shot. The habit of following a shot tells me a player isn't confident of making the shot, plus it creates a reaction to move too soon during the shot. Outstanding shooters stay while shooting. Other than bad form with the elbow, keep it straight, and moving the head, fading away during the jump shot is probably the worst habit players create. 
When a jump shooter fades away, he has two forces working against each other. The ball going one way, the body the other. The best habit is to jump straight up and down. If you must move, move slightly towards the target. This will keep your rhythm and help maintain concentration. Players should practice shooting in motion or on the run every day. These are game conditions. The jump shot should be released at the top of the jump. This allows for excellent rhythm and needed strength and power. If the ball is shot on the way down, power as well as rhythm and timing is lost. An excellent rhythm drill while shooting in motion is running the foul line from side to side. Again, go get the ball and move the feet to do it. I always stop on the inside foot before shooting. My hands are set the same way every time I receive the ball and I try to keep the ball as still as possible before shooting. I look the ball right into my hands. Run the line drill in sets of 25. Keep a record of your makes and misses. This drill is especially helpful in practicing or improving the skill to shoot a basketball quickly with accuracy. To improve my shooting, I learned to train and work in game conditions. Get tired and run one more set. Shooting drills should be quick so a player can respond to aggressive defense. In a game situation, a guard comes down the floor, hits the forward, receives a return pass, and shoots without a dribble. The skill here that must be mastered is shooting quickly off the pass. This takes work. The direction the ball is coming from is important to shot rhythm and learning the proper foot setup. Most game passes are taken from the side, a short turn. Very seldom directly in front except on post play. Remember, any time a player can overload a game situation during practice, he's going to improve. The toss back gives the player the training aid that is necessary to create game-like passes and other drill conditions that enable a player to constantly repeat the skill that is necessary to improve a certain weakness. If your passing and shooting skills are slower behind, you must repeat them more often to catch up. Toss back means repetition. I'll be truthful. Proper use of the toss back takes work, but working hard to good players is a habit. This can be developed. The pros, the college All-Americans, the high school stars, they all stayed in the backyard, the schoolyard, the gym a little bit longer. Passing, shooting, moving the feet quickly for setup. They had one thought. Whatever it takes to be a good player, I'll do. They know to be a good player it must be earned. Each makes the most of all practices. They all drill so hard in practice that game situations are easy to handle. I wasn't a superstar, but I made it because I was willing to work hard. You can do the same. To be a good player today, you have to practice and play with intensity. All the drills with a toss back are skill tested and must be run with intensity. I became a good player because I was determined to be one. I spent many hours alone with the basketball to develop my skills. A player must constantly improve individual skills to be competitive today. The toss back develops and improves skills. I will now explain my one piece theory of shooting. I release a pass to the toss back, react, catch the ball and flow into my jump shot in one piece. Keep the ball as still as possible. I start into my shot from the position I receive the ball, no dip. Again, tremendous repetition using the toss back because in basketball today, most shots come off a pass. In this drill, I work on my shot, rhythm and timing, all in one piece. During practice or games, I consistently keep my feet moving so I'll have strength and power to release the ball quickly and with a smooth follow through. Using the toss back during shooting practice lets the player work on passing, footwork, balance, and reaction to the basketball. It's great for stamina and shooting quickness. Remember, the four basic steps are balance, one foot in front of the other, eyes on the target, do not follow the ball with your eyes, elbow straight. This is the most important, keep the elbow under the ball straight to the basket and follow through. Every time you shoot the ball, bend your legs for power and follow through. In closing, I leave you with these thoughts. With a little talent and a lot of hard work, I became a good player. How bad do you want to play? How many hours will you practice? You must make the most of all practices. During shooting practice, work on the shots that you will take in a game from the spot on the floor that you will take these shots. To be an outstanding player, as in anything else that pays high dividends, you must invest something first, work. The harder you work, the better player you'll become. Remember. You must be determined to be a good player, not desire to be one. Go to your coach and ask him to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses. He wants to help you. Write down his advice and then organize a self-improvement practice schedule around it. During shooting practice, a player must constantly be involved in competition. Competition against himself to better a normal is set. The clock, the number of shots taken and made in a certain time limit against another player to finish with one more shot made than a teammate. Outstanding shooters are made through repetition and practice, not born.
Remember, no matter how fast you run, how high you jump, how good a defensive player you are, if I put the ball in the hole one more time than you, you're beat.